Hello everyone, this is Jan from Organics 50 and Raw. Here showing you what I'm having for lunch. Um, so far I've had a quart of my detox ice cube drinks. If you haven't seen that video, please check it out. It's a very convenient way to get some good detox juice in you. Um, and then I had a quart of red prickly pear smoothie and I, <clears throat> Okay, so what I'm eating right now is zucchini with guacamole on it. At our local grocery store, we can buy, just makes it so convenient, we can buy um, guacamole, okay? There's no cream in it, no nothing like that. Um, and it's just got um, avocado, cilantro, jalapenos, lime salt and black pepper and of course i could make it healthier by using himalayan salt or organic avocados but convenience sometimes means not failing and so this is really convenient for me so all i did was i i got a zucchini squash actually this isn't zucchini it's the bigger one same color as zucchini but i mean it's green but i don't know what it's called um, and I just put the zucchini on it, some Himalaya salt. Um, it's really good. Maybe you're already doing that, but I haven't been. Um, hmm. Well, hmm. When I was watching uh, one of Dan McDonald's DVD recipes the other day, he talked about using the zucchinis as chips. And I was like, wow, what a good idea. I could have been doing this a whole year. I've been raw and it is good. It's just as good as a corn chip. I won't bite it because then I have to chew it before I talk again. The other thing I'm having is in here is a warm butternut squash soup that I made with my also newest um, creation is my No More Nor um, bouillon base. and. Um, so I just made a video on that. It's probably the video before this, so you wanna have a look at that. And wow, did that ever make a difference in my butternut squash soup? Last year when I was making butternut squash soup, I didn't like it, I, raw butternut squash soup. I wanted, it didn't have a full flavor. It still kinda of tasted a little bit bitter because the butternut squash was raw. Mm. I just didn't have a full flavor. It was really lacking flavor. But my No More Nor um, bouillon powder made a huge difference. And then I did warm it in the pot. So it's warm butternut squash soup that's still raw. Um, so I'm gonna take this to work and I'm gonna drink it there. And my durian ice cream, let me show you that. Here is, can you see that? My durian ice cream is amazing. And uh, I'm gonna be making a video on making some raw ice cream within an ice cream maker. And you might say, oh, forget, I just make it in my blender, my food processor, but it's different. This tastes so much more creamy. Um, mm, you can put it in the freezer and it, it doesn't get icy. So I'm gonna experiment a little bit more with some raw vegan ice cream recipes in my ice cream maker. And then I'm gonna make a video on that because I think that having food that tastes so satisfying is really important on staying uh, raw vegan or eating mostly raw vegan, whatever you're doing. I wanna show you guys that and um, I'm off to work. Gonna edit yesterday's video and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.